Assalamu alaikum guys, so welcome back, Sir Shafat Khan here on your screen, I hope you are well, and yes guys, I know you are surprised by the change of logo behind me, but no, this is not a change of logo, this is also my logo, but the logo of a different YouTube channel, my brand new YouTube channel that I just made, it's called A-Level Cybers, or maybe S-V stands for A-Level Cybers, S and a V. S and V. Anyways, uh, so I've basically added this uh, logo so that uh, you guys could actually get to know. Okay, this YouTube channel has been made for A level students, A level chem biophysics, even those students who are on the MDCAT side preparing for MDCAT, and there is a certain topic which they actually want to strengthen. They can actually refer to this channel, but of course, it's in progress right now, and video uploading has begun already. We uploaded our very first chapter today. Atomic structure, chemistry. All right. And now, uh, if you have any peers, any siblings, anyone who's doing A levels or will be doing A levels soon enough, please subscribe and share it. Share it immediately on all of your social media platforms so that maximum people could benefit out of it because all of the content is a content of an A level college equivalent to an A level college because I have had the experience of A level college as well for two years, right? Uh, teaching a full uh, college uh, at Nixa College and then apart from that I've been teaching A level since almost seven years now so I will be using all of that knowledge to generate and carefully compile my notes of A level chemistry biology and physics all right so please make sure to go subscribe and make use of this free opportunity available till it's available all right let's begin with our AKU past paper practice now all right guys so we didn't do the physics section yet. Let's start off with the physics section then. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A football is kicked and follows a parabolic path. Which arrow best represents the velocity of the football at its maximum height? You have a parabolic path. This is the football going up. It's going to go up. Going to reach the maximum height right here. Over here, the velocity is going to be completely horizontal. Option is correct. 82. Stone is thrown vertically upwards. Okay, this question, me, jo hai na, ye question, a lot of confusion hui thi, toh, let me just explain it uh, once and for all. This was very simple, by the way, when I saw it in the past. Yes, it was a tricky thing, of course. That you have a building, you have a stone on your own, but the stone is like this, that it's at 30 degrees of angle, par hai, and uh, 20 meters per second ke speed, ke saath aapne hai, if the stone lands on the ground right here, somewhere on the ground, it's much below the level of the building. Uh, the total time it took, to reach the ground with 12.22 seconds, then how tall is this building? That's the question, right? Achha, all you need to do is use the formula of S equals to UT plus half AT squared. But before you use this formula, you'll need to know the vertical component of velocity. Now, once you know the vertical component of velocity, it's 20 sine of 30. 20 sine theta, say, up to plus vertical component of velocity, uh, V cos theta, V sine theta, right? Vertical component, V sine theta. Hota. So this is V sine theta, 20 sine of 30. Sine of 30, uh, key value of yaad hone chahiye. Now, use 0.5. Hoti hai. Achha, now, you have 20 sine of 30 right over here. You have the initial velocity. You can you put in the initial velocity over here. Take it. You can put the time as 4.22 seconds in here. Koi must nahi hai. Time of 4.22 seconds rakhenge. And... Uh, Acceleration of Pohi, acceleration of free fall, looking at 9.81. Take care. Now, you can see how much displacement is coming out. Now, remember one thing. But, yeah, acceleration is not negative. Rakhne hai. Negative is negative. Now, because I want you guys to determine the displacement over here, because this is actually the displacement, right? Because this is the starting point of the object. Ka. Take care. Now, starting point is opposite direction. Mein ja rahe hai. Yeah, actual me kya hai ye displacement hai like a negative direction me compared to the upward direction. And you guys know acceleration is always downward and it's always negative, right? Negative 9.81. So me chatam ki negative 9.81 but up acceleration ki value ko use karte ve kare. If acceleration ki actual value with the actual sign agar up use karenge to answer me aapke paas distance nahi aega, aapke paas displacement aega. Pehle jab hum is sign ko um, ignore kar liya karte the, wo kyun karte the, wo sign of acceleration ko isliye ignore kar sakte the, jab kyunke we had distance to be calculated in that case. Over here we are calculating the displacement in this case. Now to calculate the displacement directly, this is just a simple and shortcut to calculate this displacement. This is the displacement, the height is a displacement. You just plug in the values over here. So 20 sign of 30 times of the 4.22, add it to half, 
of negative 10 into 4.22 squared. You calculate it, you sub calculation karne ke baad answer approximately 44.8 meters aarata. Itna mujhe yaad hai. So 44.8 meter is closest to 45. So 45 centi uh, meters is the answer. I think iski key mein bhi thodi sa garbar thi. Iski key mein kuch aur answer given tha. So ye answer is kuch. Okay. Key wali ka answer ko ignore kare le. 45.1 is the correct answer. Now 83. What is the direction of acceleration for any projectile in a gra uh, gravitational field? Yehi question humne abhi upar wala bhi. जो किया है उसमें भी यही कांसेप्ट अप्लाइड था कि डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन हमेशा नीचे ही होती है ड्यू टू व्हिच एक्सेलरेशन इज टेकिंग टू बी नेगेटिव ऑफ 9.81 ठीक है थ्रू आउट द मोशन इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी इन द सेम डायरेक्शन इट्स नेवर चेंजिंग बिकॉज़ इट्स ऑलवेज डाउनवर्ड्स राइट बट नेगेटिव डाउनवर्ड्स नाउ इन द डायग्राम शोन द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम इज 4.6 मीटर्स पर सेकंड स्क्वायर व्हिच इज द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एक्टिंग ऑन द 6 kg बॉक्स दिस इज अ कांसेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज वेरी सिमिलर टू ए लेवल क्वेश्चन Now let's just look at it. You have a 6 kg box right here and an 8 kg box right here. Both of them are connected by a string. The string has a certain value of tension in it. Tension is always away from the objects over here. It's upwards and over here to the right hand side. Now if you look at the net force acting on this downward 8 kg object, because the object is moving downwards, so the downward force has to be greater than the upward force. So down minus upwards would give you the net force, right? Forward minus backward, or uh, upward downwards. Forward minus backward, right? Forward would niche ki ja rahe. So forward force aapki 8 g ho gai. 8 g matlab ke 8 multiplied by the gravitational field strength. So 8 multiplied by gravitational friction minus the tension will give you MA because forward minus backward jo force hoti hai, forward force minus backward force ya aapke MA ke equal hoti hai, net force ke equal hoti hai. Net force aapke aise aagi, MA ke equal, M kya hai 8 kg hai, right? Or A kya hai, A kya hai, 4.6. Isi tarah se yehi chiz aapne ispe bhi apply ki. Iski ispe kya hai, tension forward hai, for friction backwards. The friction is always against the motion, right? So tension minus friction will give you a value of MA. M is again 6 kg and A is 4.6. Now you're going to add them uh, together. The two equations are added together. T or negative T cancel out. So AT minus F equals 64.4. FQ value 15.6. And this 15.6 is actually closest to 14 Newton. Okay? So this is the answer. This is the issues of values. Okay? Unless and until you guys have a better answer to this, but 14 Newton he said correct answer. It's a key memory class. I'm not sure about the key though. Lekin, this is the correct answer. This is the working that I got, and this is the working we've been following in A levels as well. So let's move on to the next question now. 85. This is now a actually a object moving on a circular path and you have a string right away here and they're just asking you okay, at which point if you release this ball it will hit the target so obviously you guys know that the velocity is always a tangent to the circle right so whenever you release the ball it's going to move straight from there so if you release it from point two it's going to go straight then and hit the target so it's point two the answer then 86 which is the speed of the planet that travels on a circular path of radius this much and has a period of this much. In this case, mein apne kya karna hai? all you need to do is just calculate the speed of the planet, meaning the velocity needs to be calculated, the linear velocity, right? And units say, for the linear velocity. Mang rahe. Now, you guys know that it's the period that has been given to you. You have been given the radius as well. V is equal to R omega. So, you calculate kar sakte. Omega ke paas nahi hai. You have the radius. Yes, you do. And you can plug it in here. You don't have omega. It's all okay not to have omega because you already have a formula for calculation of omega and that is 2 pi divided by capital T. Capital T represents the time period over here. Time period obviously is in days, so needs to be converted into seconds by multiplication of 24 and 3600. You can see this working right over here as well. And so once you have that calculated, once you have the omega calculated, you are just going to plug it in here. I plug the radius here, get the value of velocity, which... Sorry about that, guys. Let's continue again. Right. So, 5.13 raised to the power of 4. This to the power of 4, are I? Now, why are we getting raised to the power of 4 here? I think you have a calculation error. You guys understand the basic concept, right? So, if you have a vehicle, you have a car, 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 you have which diagram shows how the electric field varies with the distance as a, from the charged object. Now, electric field or distance ka ek relationship hum ne tha. 
इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज इक्वल टू वोल्टेज डिवाइडेड बाई डिस्टेंस एक ये रिलेशनशिप था इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जो है इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली इनवर्सली रिलेटेड टू द डिस्टेंस तो इस पहली बात तो ये है कि आप डिस्टेंस है तो ऑब्वियसली इनवर्स ही होना है यानी आप इलेक्ट्रिक सोर्स से जितना दूर जा रहे हो तो डिस्टेंस को कम होना ही है डिस्टेंस हैज टू रिड्यूस राइट क्योंकि जितना दूर जाओगे सोर्स से उतनी उसकी फील भी करो रही वो तो कोई मतलब समझो कि कोई मैटर ऑफ डिस्प्यूट है ही नहीं ना यू नो कि इलेक्ट्रिकल फोर्स के एक और फॉर्मूला भी था के क्यू वन पी टू ओवर आर स्क्ट करेक्ट और एक और फॉर्मूला भी था जो कि इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड श्रंक था इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस विच इज के क्यू ओवर आर स्क्ट बेस्ड ऑन दिस देर इज एन इनवर्स स्क्वेयर रिलेशनशिप और इनवर्स स्क्वेयर रिलेशनशिप का मतलब ये है कि आपके पास इनवर्स तो हो रहा है ऐसा इनवर्स का ग्राफ बनेगा जरूर लेकिन इट्स कैन बी स्टीपर देन द एक्चुअल इनवर्स ग्राफ तो पहली बात तो ये है कि बी और डी तो वैसे ही कैंसिल हो गए क्योंकि इनवर्स नहीं ये इंक्रीजिंग रिलेशनशिप शो कर रहे हैं इट्स इधर ए और सी लेकिन ए नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज दैट्स अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड इनवर्स इज ऑलवेज अ कर्व सी रिप्रेजेंट्स द बेस्ट पॉसिबल चॉइस फॉर यू गाइस इन दिस केस सही है ऑल दो सी इज नॉट परफेक्टली करेक्ट बट या ठीक है द ग्राफ शुडंट बी टचिंग द एक्सिस यहां एक्सिस को टच कर दिया दैट्स नॉट करेक्ट Now, if the potential difference across a battery is six volts, how much work would be required to move a charge of this much through the circuit? This is child's play, right? All you need to do is just calculate the work done. So, what's the formula for calculation of potential difference? Is just work done per unit charge. <laughs> work done per unit charge to move it around the circuit. So, to calculate that work done, it's just going to be the voltage multiplied by the charge. So, just multiply these to get the answer. Simple. Moving on. Now, if a circuit element can withstand the maximum current of 15 amperes, how many electrons can pass through it in a second? Okay, simple. Just use the definition of current. Current is equal to the total charges divided by time, and you know that the total charges is actually equal to the number of the total charges multiplied by the charge of a single charge carrier divided by time. All you need to do is just find out n or the number of electrons in this case. But you need to know the charge of a single electron, which is 1.6 raised to the power of negative 19 coulomb. टाइम आपको कह दिया है वन सेकंड का है एंड कैलकुलेट करना है करंट फिफ्टीन है जस्ट डू द कैलकुलेशन है नाउ यू कैन गेट दिस डन नाउ नाइनटी वेट वर्ट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस मस्ट बी अप्लाइड टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओम रेजिस्टर टू कॉज अ करंट ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम पी एट फ्लो थ्रू इट सो ऑल यू नीड टू डू जस्ट कैलकुलेट दिस बी इज इक्वल टू आई आर इज द फॉर्मुला यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द वोल्टेज यू हैव द करेंट यू हैव द रेजिस्टेंस गेट दी आंसर यू आर गुड That's it for the 10 MCQs. I'm gonna meet you guys in the next lecture with the next 10 MCQs.